Hello, everyone. Uh, like you said, I'm David Reeves, and I'm one of the solution engineers with Esri's uh, architecture, engineering, and construction team. Now, I've been working with AEC firms to show them, as well as learn from them, how we can improve our design workflows by integrating GIS data into their building information models. The architecture, engineering, and construction industry now focuses more on BIM, an information-rich approach that attempts to capture project details in a detailed model that may include graphics about that designed asset, along with metadata for purchasing, uh, scheduling, maintenance, even simulations of how those assets may behave in their environment after construction. Now, most of this construction is going to be done in urban areas. We spent the last you know, 30 minutes and the entire morning learning about how cities are growing and the future is urban. Today, 55% of the world's population live in cities. And by 2050, that estimate increases to 68%. To deal with this increasing population, it's estimated that the world needs to build 1,000 structures per day and invest $3.7 trillion annually in infrastructure over the next 20 years just to keep pace. A thousand structures per day, uh, not just residential homes. These buildings, roads, and infrastructure projects need to be designed with the natural and built environment around them, designed intelligently and sustainably to prepare for the massive global change that's ahead of us. So much of the world's buildings, roads, and infrastructure projects uh, are designed with Autodesk software. Now, by now, you've heard of the Esri and Autodesk Alliance. Together, we're working to integrate BIM and GIS workflows, enabling a more seamless flow of data between engineering teams and GIS teams, allowing these teams to work better together to deliver more resilient and sustainable projects. Now, the GIS team excels at knowing where everything is. Right. ArcGIS can consume all kinds of data, providing insight into that natural and built environment. You know, and it allows you to communicate in a common language of maps, scenes, and layers. Meanwhile, the engineering team has the designs right, and the design software like um, AutoCAD, Civil 3D, InfoWorks, and Revit. And the cooperation between these teams allows us to solve all kinds of problems, right? even in our own backyard. Now, I'd like to show you a real practical example of BIM integration on a building that's currently under construction. We use ArcGIS Online to collaborate with stakeholders. We'll see how to use the uh, Autodesk connector for ArcGIS within InfraWorks for preliminary design, within Civil 3D to improve our designs, and then we'll use Esri mobile apps right, to provide updates to your engineers, to your team, uh, and keep the entire organization up to date. This, should, this might be familiar to some of you. This is uh, Esri's campus here. <laughs> and on the, uh, on the north side, oh, wait, that's not right. This isn't familiar to anybody yet. Let's see. Let's try plug in, plug in again. All right. Thank you. Thanks in the back. So there on the uh, north side of campus, we've got a new addition right, known as Building E. This was designed in Revit, uh, brought into ArcGIS Pro, and shared to ArcGIS Online. You know, once it's online, designers, planners, and stakeholders can collaborate and evaluate design choices using built-in tools. There are slice tools, measuring tools, and even shadow rendering and analysis. The real-world context that provides shadow rendering analysis revealed something interesting about our atrium here. Now, it looks good, right? Oriented east to west, lines up well with the rest of the structure. But we all know how much Jack loves trees. And if we turn on our shadows and view them at its current orientation, this reveals that the trees and plants on that ground floor of this building wouldn't receive adequate sunlight to survive. 
And so you know, before the final design was approved and before ground was broken, the design was updated. On the left, you see the preliminary design. On, on the right, you see the design influenced by the context of the natural environment around it. We can see that atrium has been rotated, which may seem like a, a minor detail, but it's a major impact on the design. Now, this is how designers are collaborating with their team, right, with their customers and with their stakeholders. You know, your clients you know, might not know how to use uh, Esri or Autodesk software, but anyone can use ArcGIS online. For every one BIM producer, there are 10 other BIM consumers that need to approve a design, recommend changes for design, provide feedback on design. And an easy access, secure website with built-in tools to look inside and explore your designs is a much better deliverable than static images, right? S sent to a client, uh, disparate product files, or even images embedded in a PDF. So let's continue to use Building E and see how GIS teams can support engineers and design workflows through the recently established uh, Esri and Autodesk integrations. Now I'm going, to, let's, I'm going to begin in InfraWorks here, a relatively new program for Autodesk, but it's a preliminary design tool that enables users to sketch and iterate through design scenarios. Now, when starting the design process, you know, designers and engineers can spend up to 40% of their time just looking for relevant data. Right? This is where GIS comes in. GIS professionals have a treasure trove of data that they can share to ArcGIS Online, take out of your silos and make it available to your entire organization and access through the new Autodesk connector for ArcGIS. This is built in, right? It's not a plugin, it's not an add-on, it's built into the latest versions of uh, InfoWorks and Civil 3D. So we can start, whereas we start with an empty site, we can add context of, via our GIS data. I can add in things like the FEMA floodplain, see how it intersects our, our site. I can add in uh, contextual buildings around uh, Building E to see how it fits in with the larger campus. I can even add in existing utilities to see how they interact with my, with my building. You see we've got some above ground utilities and below ground. Your designers and engineers can easily access this data uh, that's stored in ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise to give them more context about where they're designing. So that when they do add in their uh, preliminary design, perhaps uh, created in Revit, they can see it in context with all that GIS data that you have. Now, this isn't just your GIS data. This includes publicly shared GIS data. Cities, counties, and states share GIS data, but there's also the living outs of the world. Now your designers and engineers have access, easy access to so much more data instead of dealing with static shape files. Now, as we progress past the preliminary design, your engineers can take advantage of the same connector within Civil 3D. So instead of designing in a vacuum, like we see here, a blank canvas, you know, ready for your creation, but I've got no context about the natural built environment around it. I can use the connector to add in existing conditions, and it brings them in as CAD features, as you can see here. Our utilities, our building footprints, our road center lines. And like I said, these aren't static shape files like they're used to working with. Right? This is live GIS data brought in as CAD features. And let's say it, if an engineer is concerned about data that's missing, or perhaps incorrect, you can use Collector to um, our most popular mobile app to verify conditions on the ground and get those updates to your team, to your designers, to your engineers, uh, almost instantly. Now the uh, atrium is gonna have a catwalk along with some giant boulders like you see outside our building and, and of course some trees. And so I can assist by collecting their locations. I'll launch collector and choose to collect a location of some trees here in the center. I'll put one right here, submit that, <clears throat> and then add another, well, since I'm indoors uh, using this computer, uh, it's not liking my you know, lack of a signal. There we go. Let's add in one more, since we did have some success. Some success. 
and submit that. Great. So I've loaded my collector map, I've captured those tree locations, and I've submitted it to ArcGIS Online. And so now, everyone in my organization has access to those updates. I can launch the <clears throat> built-in Autodesk connector for ArcGIS, sign in with my ArcGIS Online account, and browse public data, browse data that my organization has, browse data that's been shared to me in my groups, or my own content. If I search for trees, we'll see a couple of search results. I'll select the layer I want to add, view it, select the type of asset it is, and then I'll choose add to my design product in the lower left. Now, once it loads, we will see those trees that are, that are, whoops, let me zoom in here. There we go. Here are our two new trees. All right, so our, we've instantly made uh, updates in the field available to our designers and engineers so that they can design more efficiently, more sustainably, and not spend so much time looking for accurate and up-to-date data. Now, this integration isn't just for AEC firms. Cities have taken advantage of it as well, like the city of Dubai, who's trying to keep up with the fast pace of development. In order to develop in a way that's sustainable, uh, designers need to look beyond the structure they're building to ensure that it's aligned with the long-term uh, urban plan for a city. So Dubai, along with the support of Esri and his partners, built a prototype of a web-based solution that allows design engineers to upload their BIM models to be validated against the surrounding built and natural environment. Now, Revit has its own class detections where it can tell if you move a wall that's going to interfere with a stairwell. But this application automatically checks that BIM model for code compliance, for zoning restrictions, and it also adds it to that city's 3D model, right? their digital twin, which will aid in the long-term sustainability of that structure. So I encourage you to open up your GIS data to your entire organization. Encourage your engineers to use the new built-in Autodesk connector for ArcGIS and InfoWorks and Civil 3D so that they and your entire team can access the latest relevant data to make better informed and more accurate design decisions. Thank you. Thank you.